And we're back. Thanks for waiting, everyone. Well, let's see what the uh, the next not a test chamber holds for me. Surprise! What? What's that look on your face? Did you expect something bad? Yes, it's an actual elevator straight to the surface. Rare find. Uh huh. You're welcome, by the way. I know you humans love the sky for some reason, so. I thought this would excite you. I absolutely distrust this, uh, this sphere. Look, I know what you're thinking. You really don't trust me. And I've done nothing but sounding like a raving lunatic or a sociopath. Probably uh, both at once, if I'm gonna be honest. In the interest of transparency, this elevator will take you up to the surface. Uh, only thing is, it's not all the way out of the enrichment center. <laughs> When we get to the surface, we still have a little way to go before we can complete your half of the deal. I'll try to help you where I can with these old test chambers, but uh, there's been a lot of decay, if you catch my drift. But hey, look at the bright side. There's fresh air, it's sunny outside, and I think there's a cool breeze. Just watch out for wild animals. Those are brutal. <laughs> with any luck, this should take just a few minutes. And then you can go free. Hope we're in the clear now. Oh boy. I I have very low expectations here. <laughs> so I'll level with you. I actually do not we'll take know how a look out that is. window for a moment. Oh my. See that huge spire in the distance? That's where we're headed. Little confession. I don't know for sure whether it still works. It is possible that there is just a pile of rubble waiting for us. Judging by how torn apart this place is, I'd give that chance a possibility of... Ooh, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> I hate to say it, but we need to find a testing track. Look, I'm sorry. I don't want to torture you with endless testing. You already proved that you're capable. Ooh. Problem is that these backstage areas aren't built to be as durable as the test chambers. To cover any ground here, we need to move between testing tracks. The level here, I'm not sure where we need to go. <clears throat> uh, the answer seems to be not that way. Nor that way. Okay. I guess we'll just keep poking around until I find something. Or we'll just jump down here. Good find. But this testing track isn't in good shape. Hmm. There should be another one not far from here. See if you can find it. Okay, well, I have a small problem here. Oh! Oh, okay. Again, good attempt, but this test is broken. <laughs> you need to find another one. Well, hell's bells. I gotta say, they are doing a pretty good job playing with the, uh, the problem space of these puzzles and such. Is this a working elevator? Oh, that's exciting. Oh, what the hell? Oh, okay. Well, that was completely counterproductive. Oh, I didn't even see that. Big tall glass, uh, 
insulated mug of water. So I guess we go back down and take the the orange portal through. Is this the only way back down? Yeah, probably. Oh, okay, that's where we go. Apparently. I'm new here. What can I say? I don't know things. Science. <laughs> Got that one in there just for you, Elliot. Well, this is all very nice looking, but I am a little lost. Elevator? No? I mean, the fact that there's an Emancipation Grill kind of tells me that this is the right way, but... Uh, it, it only seems to lead to this dead-end room. Unless... That's much better. Oh, okay. Might be a bit overgrown, but the hardware still works. They really use fine materials for these tests. Have to protect your investments, after all. Unbreakable materials are expensive. <laughs> okay, so... What do they want me to do here? Oh, well, that's a cube. I don't know if it's... <laughs> oh god, there, there was such a relatable uh, meme that was, that was just like... Yeah, this is exactly the case for my gay ass. It's this guy, um, he's clearly chatting with someone on Grindr, and the text says, Hey, I'll be outside in ten minutes in a uh, white Ford Focus. And the next panel is the guy frantically googling what the hell a white Ford Focus is, because his gay ass doesn't know one car from another. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's that's pretty much me. That's the worst part about trying to, you know, use Uber or Lyft, is because they're gonna be like, okay, it's uh, this kind of vehicle. I'm like, um, it's this kind of vehicle that looks like every other vehicle. I, I really can't tell cars apart. Now, if we get into Battle Max, that I could tell you about. Okay, so now I have to get back up there. And we're going to do that with the old... Speedy thing goes in, speedy things comes out, as they said. Did you know that this iteration of your Aperture Science handheld portal device has been specifically configured to not shoot portals further than eight kilometers? Uh, yeah. Is that because of... they quickly learn to limit the range on these things? <laughs> well, yeah, of course they did. After somebody planted a portal on the moon, kind of made a mess of things. I kind of liked how they built up to that in the second game, where they mentioned that the only no, thing... I wasn't aware that the surface is in such a rough state. They don't want to say it before, but this place is such a mess. This will take so long to clean up. Whoever did this was very thorough in their work. Oh, okay, so this is not a functional cube. You, sir, are no weighted companion cube. So anyway, they, they set it up a bit in the second game. They mentioned that the the portal gun only works on surfaces that have uh, been painted 
with a uh, substance or with ground up with paint that has ground up moon rocks in them. And of course you're going, well, that's a little weird. But then you have that confrontation at the very end, and you have this moment where you can just see the moon. So you just shoot, you shoot the portal gun at it, and it sucks the uh, it sucks Wheatley out into space. Uh, you know, that kind of fits. I just like when they manage to build up uh, little elements like that and let the player... Oh, God. What did I just do? Okay, let's... Let's try that, but... Ooh. Alright, so I should be able to just waltz through here and... That's better. And... Try putting that up there and hop down here. Yeah, I think I, a lift does that too sometimes. But it still doesn't help me differentiate them a whole lot. Like, I usually have to, uh... I usually check by license plate. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So we need to get up onto this thing. Uh, well, we need to get there eventually, but we need a... We need a companion cube, and uh, I am not seeing one. Whoops. That's better. Alright, let's see what happens if I fly over here. Bugger all. Okay. Yeah, color helps, but uh, a lot of vehicles look alike in terms of color, too. Um, I mean, black, white, and red pretty much cover more than half of the vehicles on the road most of the time. I mean, you, you do get outliers, don't get me wrong, but... Uh, Wait, what's up there? Um, okay, let's let's head back to that side. Okay, the shift in gravity has to be really disorienting. Like, I can't imagine what that would do to you in real life. <clears throat> okay, um, so put a portal there. And there we go. Put another one there, and Aha! And now we have a cube. Okay. Oops. So it looks like I'll have to do this. And then I'll... Put one on that service, so that'll put me up here, so I can go grab the cube and then come back and. So, uh, it says that I'm on chapter three, but uh, I don't know how many chapters there are. So that's not the most useful information. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't give me the idea as to the actual progress uh, that I'm making. So, I'm basically just saying, I don't know how long this actually goes. Oh, I just realized. You don't even know how this all happened. Well, long ago... Aperture was run by a central core capable of monitoring and maintaining the whole facility. Certain tasks were outsourced to other cores, like me. Everything was great, you know? A true utopia. Until one human test subject, this little <laughs> monster, just had to ruin our lives and killed her. And that's that. Most of my colleagues either went crazy, died, or disappeared. What else were we supposed to do if we can't fulfill our purpose? 
Okay, so my instinct here is to look for somewhere I can jump down, get some speed, and come out of this portal. But uh, I'm not really seeing the way to do that. Oh, hello. Okay, so we're going to go through here. There we are. Okay, so we have a red portal there, and I bet there's gonna be... Okay, so... Okay, that seems kind of tricky. So it looks like we're gonna go through, and we'll shoot down, and then like that, and then we'll go through the thing, and okay. Okay, so these Promise are. You could leave once we're done, but if you ever need a job in the future, don't hesitate <laughs> to come back. Okay, so that that feels like one from the original game where they're getting you to the used to the idea of uh, preserving momentum through I'd rather portal say transitions. This before it's too late. Use the gels sparingly. The tanks aren't being refilled anymore, and what's left won't last forever. <laughs> once they're empty, we're gonna have a little problem. Okay. Gels are also highly corrosive and will eat through metal and skin given enough time. Might be good to know. All right, so... All right, so we have a thing down there. Presumably a way to trigger it exists somewhere. Let's go ahead and hop down here. Ooh, what's over there? Wait a sec. Is there a way out of here? Like, the, the orange portal's way over there, but I don't have a way to really do much with that fact, because that puts me in this little pit here. Oh, okay. Okay, we do have an escape. Maybe? Oh. That is less than helpful. Oh. Okay. Okay, we have a way out. See, I don't think that takes me anywhere useful, but yeah, not quite. But we can hit that, and yeah. Okay, so oh, good, we get some bouncy jizz. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> so, uh, a friend of mine and I did a co-op playthrough of the, you know, the, well, there's some co-op levels for Portal 2, and we just, <laughs> all of the, all of the fluids in the game, we just referred to as jizz. It's very mature. That's something I'd actually like to do again, is uh, go through the co-op levels uh, with someone, because it's been probably 10 years since the last time I did that. Okay, so now when I go through, we're going to bounce off of that. So let's see how all that does for us. Indeed. Deep down, I am apparently 12.
Okay, so there's probably going to be somewhere to put this. Oh, literally right there. Should be a relatively simple matter to vault over there. We will have to take some steps first, though. Game, please. Thank you. And pearl goes there. Okay, I regret nothing. We and we're done. I gotta admit, watching you fly through the air like that looks pretty fun. Sometimes I wish I could do the same. Oh, come down here. I will slam you onto a faith plate, sir. We will make you fly. Weird ass robot. Ah, uh, yeah, this seems normal. These tests were never designed to be exposed to the surface. We've not come across any toxic plants yet, but stay alert. There's a reason we don't do experiments in the open anymore. Okay, so I kind of have a feeling as to how this is going to go. Basically, we need to get the the blue jizz all over the turrets. Uh, let's make them bounce around and go crazy, and then we will figure out what to do from there. Yep. Okay, so... Oh, is this not a portal surface? Oh, okay. Really? Oh, because the water is... Okay, well... Oh, but if we hit the button, the water shuts off for a sec. Okay. So that gives me an idea as to what are the things we can do here. Okay, so when it gets back, when it gets into the tube here, should be able to... Oh, frick! No! Oh! Oh, this is trickier than I thought. I have to actually do things. Okay, so now that should get that to go up here. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting little uh, dynamic there. So, now how do I get these last ones? Oh. Ooh. Okay. Let's try uh, experimenting with this again. Okay, so that just goes too far. What if we set that up down there? Would that help? I kind of think this won't change anything because they're still going to go up this pipe 